Support Wrestle Talk. Give us a subscribe. Hello and welcome to the Wrestle Talk News. I am Luke Owen. This Sunday sees WWE descend upon New York for the third year in a row for the biggest party of the summer, SummerSlam. But that's not all. We've got NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 3, headlined by Bobby Roode and Drew McIntyre on Saturday, the six hour SummerSlam the day after, a three hour Raw on Monday, a two hour SmackDown and one hour 205 Live on Tuesday, and NXT's weekly television show on Wednesday, all from the same building in Brooklyn. I hope you like wrestling, folks. And it was revealed yesterday that this trend is set to continue as the New York Post reported that SummerSlam week will take place in Brooklyn again next year in 2018. The WWE Universe in Brooklyn will be treated to four nights of incredible action. As NXT TakeOver will take place on Saturday, August 18th, the biggest events of summer, SummerSlam, will occur on August 19th, Raw on August 20th, and SmackDown Live on August 21st. The biggest event of the summer? Oh, guess it's not a party anymore then. What likely will be a party, however, is NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 3, which takes place this Saturday and features Asuka defending her women's championship against Ember Moon, the Authors of Pain taking on Sanity, and Hideo Itami and Alistair Black kicking the hell out of each other. And someone who has been rumored to be appearing at that show for some time may have just been confirmed. PW Insider have reported that Adam Cole, baby, did I do that right? I was told off a lot for doing it wrong last time, do you get it right? Has officially signed with WWE and will be heading to NXT's Performance Center this week. Cole has been rumored for a WWE move for months, with his ROH contract reportedly expiring back in April. He was going to join fellow ex-ROH wrestlers Kyle O'Reilly, Bobby Fish, Donovan Dijak and Leo Rush on their way to the Performance Center, but WWE got cold feet after accusations from Ring of Honor over contract tampering. All of those issues seem to be resolved now. As O'Reilly and Fish have recently debuted in NXT, and PW Insider reporting there have been discussions of an ex-ROH invasion storyline for the developmental promotion. Mike Johnson believes he will be shocked if Cole isn't at TakeOver Brooklyn 3 this Saturday likely similar to the on-screen debuts of Bobby Roode and Drew McIntyre, and this official signing should confirm him for the show. Someone who won't be appearing for their company anytime soon, though, is Alberto El Patron. GFW, the new name for TNA, don't worry, we'll all remember it eventually, are set to begin their next set of TV tapings in Orlando on Thursday. Tapings that will cover the next 12 weeks of television. But going into the TV date, their GFW and Impact Champion Alberto were still indefinitely suspended following an incident at an Orlando airport. This would have meant that GFW could have faced three months building up to Bound for Glory, their version of WrestleMania, without their main champion. I mean, WWE managed it with Brock most of the time, so it probably would have been fine. It was announced yesterday, though, that GFW had stripped Alberto Elbatron of his championships. In their statement, GF noted that although Although Alberto had been cleared of any wrongdoing by the police, the company felt that Patron had handled the situation poorly and they were disappointed he didn't show more decorum as champion. GFW noted it was their choice to strip him of the belt and they had communicated this to him. El Patron, on the other hand, has since revealed on Instagram that the decision was actually all his. My company Impact and I have come to an agreement that it's best for both parties if I be stripped from the championships. I came up with a suggestion just to show that Impact doesn't have any favorites and everyone gets treated the same. Patron also notes in his Instagram post that this is a positive for him and that he will one day be champion again. Going by the GFW statement yesterday, which said no decision has been made on which date he'll be reinstated to the roster, that probably won't be for a while. Hey, we've got a new cruise a weight champion! And have John Cena's plans for Raw been leaked? Click these videos to the left to find out more. Press subscribe and support WrestleTalk on Patreon. I've been Luke Owen and that was wrestling.